Last time I updated this table was around January, and as you know, once Ella was born, I kind of stopped updating this and lost the whole point of Papahood, which is sharing information about how much it costs to raise a baby. So I'm using this week to update this document so it's up to date as of today. The last total cost I had in episode 4 was $2,005.59, and that was around the end of January. Until May, there hasn't been any updates till March. We purchased 4 boxes of diapers and Diaper Genie trash bags from Costco. We ended up not using 2 boxes of size 1, so the cost could be deducted. But since we haven't been able to return it yet, we'll just keep it in the cost for now or later on exchange it to a different diaper size if needed. In April, we paid all our medical bills and you can check out the details in this video on the top right. No additional expenses this month for any diapers, food, toys, or anything. Now, May, we actually have some items that we bought last month or before, but since I don't know the exact dates, I'll just add everything to this month's expenses. Wet wipes coin tissues. We bought this the first or second week after Ella was born and have used about half of it so far. Since then, with the COVID-19 and everything, it was out of stock for quite some time. And this month, I can see that they're available again. However, the price did go up about $10 or more. We mainly use it because it's easier to carry than regular wipes and it doesn't have any chemical or artificial smell to it. Wouldn't say it's a necessity, but sometimes it does come in handy. The mattress protector. So we bought a larger bed like a week or before Ella was born. Not knowing how much babies burp and leave stuff behind, we got our bed dirty, learned our lesson, and got this right away. All I can say is that this is something that makes your life much, much easier. Now when Ella's diaper leaks or when she burps or anything on the bed, I am carefree and do not care about the bed at all. These baby medicines, just in case we do need it, gas relief and Tyranol, a snot sucker, something that my friend told me that only people who are in love can do this. Ella seems to not like it, but it does help. The baby carrier that I mentioned multiple times that I like so much. Some are a few hundred dollars and it really makes me wonder how good they are. Until I win a lottery, I probably won't be able to find out, but we'll see. Ella's vitamin D drops that we use every day. We bought two boxes. And last but not least, cotton diapers that I mentioned last week. We bought additional diapers and inserts as well. With all this added, our total is now $8,134.91. Now that the major bills were all covered, I'm not sure if it'll reach 10 k for a full year, but we'll see. Maybe Ella will want one of those expensive baby carriers. It's all about what Ella wants. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week with another episode. Good job all parents.